Hey, welcome back guys to Rustic Archery. My name is Jeff Ruckman. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful July morning. And I'm excited to share with you a couple of things that are going on. I am doing great on my rehab on my right knee. My partial knee replacement has just been such a blessing. I'm so, I'm so thankful to the Lord for uh, allowing me to uh, strengthen and recover the way I have these last five or six weeks, six weeks, I guess, since my surgery and been hiking, even hiking, uh, went five miles last night. So super cool <laughs> to be able to do that and have this rehab and strengthen again and get myself back to, man, I can even hike up hills and go down the hill without my knees hurting. It's awesome. So thankful to the Lord for the abilities of surgeons and the abilities of medicine today. Hey, this summer I've worked on a few projects other than trying to re-strengthen and get back to whatever normal is for my knee. And uh, worked on a couple uh, <laughs> maple board bow builds that didn't come out so well. This one was 72 inches long and it broke because of some limb twists that I was trying to correct. Check this out. Snap right in my face, so I don't recommend uh, Tillering like a gorilla. <laughs> Tiller more like a butterfly. Yeah, fly like a butterfly and sting like a bee, right? Anyway, this didn't come out so well. Um, this bow, the second one I did, 72 inches long, a little bit lighter bow, and uh, didn't make a shelf with this one, and it busted in the same place. So this maple doesn't work for me. <laughs> this is a maple board from your home improvement store. Not real successful with maple for me. I've watched you guys do it online and I just can't perform it. Can't get it done. So anyway, going back to hickory on the board bow. But uh, I did have this great success over the last three or four weeks. I've been working little by little. Finished this bow. It is a beautiful long bow. It is 66 inches long. It made it a little bit shorter than my previous build, which was 70, 66 inches long. And it is a symmetrically balanced bow. You can see that is dead center at my handle section. And that means symmetrical means it is 33 inches from uh, center to tip, from the very center to the tip of the top and the very center to the tip of the bottom. So it's balanced and it's even tiller. And I shoot my shelf, or I make my shelf three quarters of an inch high off of center. So the reason that I make a symmetrical bow is because I shoot three fingers under and I want an even tiller on my bow and that means I'm pulling my bow three fingers under the arrow and I am pulling dead center you can see that when I shoot anyway this bow turned out beautiful it is named <laughs> gang green because it is a green beautiful bow glass and when the arrow hits its mark baby there is no cure this is a beautiful shooting bow and it shoots like fire and dynamite maybe all at the same time i love it it has a great uh balanced great shooting bow smooth and quiet i love these long bows check out the uh, limb tips i finished up on they are epay limb tips right on top of the bow glass and this is the bottom one i like to round the edge on the bottom because i tend to knock this thing around every once in a while on the tip though on the very top i like to make Oh, just a little point on the top just to give me a little ornament there. Looks great. Bow turned out great. It is made of maple. The handle is made of maple and you can see some Ipe lining or some Ipe strips in there. The uh, core laminate is maple and Ipe and the back and the belly are both that bow tough glass. And here is the bow build in its entirety. Thank you so much for joining me today. Enjoy the video and go out and get some shooting done. Have a great day and have a good rest of the summer. God bless. On this build though, I'm going to be using this Sweet Daddy uh, 0 0.04 green bow tough glass. I have, and uh, so I have that set up. I also have a piece of 0.04 bow glass for the back. 
of the bow. And I've been doing some research and I guess you don't need, uh, from what I've been told anyway, you don't need two laminations of bow glass, both on the belly and the back. So I'm gonna try that out and see how that works. And um, you only are supposed to taper the belly laminate, not the other two pieces. So I have, what I have so far is I have a piece, this one, this piece of maple is an inch and a half thick, it's seven inches long, and it is 0 0.08 at the tip, and from tip to tip, there's no taper in this back laminate. And that will go on top of my green bow glass. And I have a piece of Ipe as my core. I wonder if this will slow the bow down. It is a heavy wood, but I, I have this piece of uh, Ipe lying around and I'm gonna use it for the core of this bow. This is 0 .08 from tip to tip. There's no taper in this laminate here. This bow, or I'm sorry, this lamination is the actual, the belly wood and what I've been reading is that the only uh, taper that you need in your bow is the belly laminate. So I have laminate here, it is 0 0.05 and it comes to 0 0.08. And um, I just basically make these on the, uh, the bench sander or the belt sander or the, or the grinder or whatever you wanna call it. And I just hold it <laughs> for extended seconds at this end and then I push it through towards the middle on both sides. And then I do that very gradually and I measure every time I go through just to make sure I get a gradual taper. 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08 on the lens. So the only uh, taper I'm gonna have on this bow, it will be on the belly laminate. Um, so on this build, I am making the handle a little bit different than my previous bow. Uh, I'll show you that right now. The handle on my long shot 70 inch long bow is uh, has both has this arc on both the front the, the top limb and the bottom limb. This time I'm just gonna do it on the bottom limb here and and use this fade do this fade out all the way to the arrow rest, try to do it, may make it look more like a, uh, you know, more like a traditional flat bow form. So with that said, I am gonna be building a symmetrical bow, which basically means, which simply means that from the center of the handle uh, to the tip of the top limb and the top limb, they are the same distances, meaning that the top limb is not longer than the bottom limb. So I'll show you what that looks like when I get it. <clears throat> all glued up. So thanks for joining me today. Hey, God bless you. Let's get to this build and get going. get ready to clean these laminations up with some acetone anytime I'm gluing up especially when I'm gluing up with EA40 and I like to clean every surface that the glue is going to go on so I'm just going to clean it wipe it down with acetone get it nice and fingerprint free grease or hand or grime or sawdust free and then get this thing glued up Now that I have everything wiped down with acetone that's nice and clean, fingerprint free and dust free, I get the mixture of glue that I'm gonna be using and I get it ready. This time I'm gonna be using a two-part epoxy. It's called EA40, it's bow glue. Everyone who builds bows uh, pretty much knows about this stuff if you can get your hands on it. Um, I uh, like to use two uh, full, basically kitchen spoons, tablespoons, whatever you wanna call it, uh, full of each product. It's a two-part epoxy. You mix equal parts together and you get the adhesive. But um, as I mix this, it's pretty cool looking. Here's the part. Here is part, this is part A. And it is a white and this stuff is super sticky. And I'll get two parts of that. And here is part B. And it is, sm it smells. <laughs> So 
So that's what I'm looking like right there for that amount. You can see I got two equal parts here of both. I'm just gonna mix it up here on my plate. And I mix it up for about 90 seconds, I guess. I have a lot, but it goes fast if you put a lot on. <laughs> gonna make sure it gets all mixed up. It comes kind of to a white color with some gold in it. And you wanna make sure you get all that gold out of it. I just keep mixing it up. Gotta build a new form. Third time's a charm.
15 minutes. Is it time to eat lunch? Are you? Yeah, but you are. You know what time it is? 12.37. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? We're late, huh? All right, I'm done. I finished the ball. Now I'm just gonna make a string.
That's it, baby. Thank you so much for joining me today and sticking with me this long. If you're enjoying the content of these videos, please like and subscribe to these videos. And uh, my next bow build is going to be a hickory and bamboo-backed bow, long bow like this. And I'm going to see if I can make one 
out of a board and <laughs> get a nice successful build this summer. Hey, God bless you. Thank you so much for being a part of this bow building journey. I'm going to go shoot a little bit before it gets too hot. God bless.